Hello everyone, this is Aegis here, and I'll be bringing you a game from the Collegiate Star League once again. This is Arizona State University versus the University of Arizona. Here I actually have a PVZ. I have Kadar from the Arizona State University here playing as the Protoss player. He is a 2,200 pointed Protoss uh, diamond player. And I have Hasutka as the Zerg player playing for the University of Arizona. I'll be casting all five of these games in order. Um, I have not previewed these games, so I don't know how these turn out. Uh, I just saw that uh, they did play all the way up to the ace match. Uh, so we'll just be bringing these games to you, and hopefully uh, the audio quality will turn out better than before. I have Kadar here putting down his first uh, pylon. Um, just to tell you a little bit more about the Collegiate Star League, it's actually a, a league where there are 140 some universities um, that play every weekend. Uh, we, we have uh, Kadar here getting his chrono boost off on his probes. The Collegiate Star League uh, also has some universities from Canada. Um, so. We do encourage you to look at these games every week if you have the chance to. That some of these games are cast live, um, and some of them may be brought to you afterwards, like this. So we have these probes scouting around here. Um, see a gateway on 14, a 14 gateway. And Zerg is actually going for expand before pool. Uh, we should be seeing a pool soon uh, to help defend this expansion. We have a pylon going down here. Uh, I don't think our Zerg player sees this yet, so he's not bringing any probes down. Are we going to see a forge? Yes, we are. Are we going to see some cannons being thrown down? The probe is nowhere in sight. And this overlord's going to go ahead and spot this pylon. We're going to see how our Zerg player is able to respond with this. He's probably going to have to pull off a few drones to get this uh, pylon and potential cannons out of the way. And some, Just three drones. Oh, no, he's pulling more drones than that. We got uh, eight drones coming out to help defend this. Uh, we have a cannon being thrown down. It only takes four drones to successfully take down a cannon before it warps in. So he... Uh, Hatsuka has, has plenty of a good response for this. Um, our Protoss player here, Kadar, not spending his Chrono Boost on anything. It's not good. If he's still throwing down more cannons here, hopefully uh, these cannons will help him be able to, to ex uh, secure an, a natural exp expansion. Um, he should go ahead and do that rather than uh, wasting more time out here. Ooh, did he get a cancel off on that? I don't think so. He lost 150 minerals there. Now he's chrono boosting out those zealots. He's still not really spending his chrono boost. This could put him behind later on in the game. If we look at the production time, his gas is finally coming up. It's a, a really far delayed uh, gas on 24 food. We have some Zerglings coming out for uh, Hatsuka, see if he can test the front and break in. Uh, these two Zealots should be able to stop this from happening. We have our really late Cyber Core due to the Cannon Rush here, uh, finally working down on the Pylon here. We're going to see what he's going to do with his first 100 gas here. I don't, still no Queens out for our Zerg player, uh, the Queens are still on the way. Presumably because of the uh, cannon rush here. These zealots are going to clean these zerglings up, but these zerglings are going to see everything that is going on inside the Protoss base. He's going to see the second gas and know that Protoss is going to tech rather than uh, try to go for an early attack. Queen's out here uh, not really doing any vomiting action. Really should get on that so then you can get the extra production off. Um, probably to produce drones knowing that our Protoss player is going to be going for tech, and, and we see the Stargate being thrown down right away. We also have here a 
The Zergling speed coming out for our Zerg player. He's doing a nice job of spotting with his Zerglings and Overlords, making sure that um, the Protoss isn't hiding anything. Uh, hiding d Dark Shrine tech is uh, something really common, but um, we do see the Stargate here coming out. Probably going to be going for some Phoenix? Maybe Void Rays? This, the rush distance on this map is quite difficult. It is, is quite far. It would have been better if he maybe placed uh, some a pylon down here and uh, warped in a proxy stargate. I'm gonna set myself to busy. Uh, forgot about that earlier. <coughs> so we got more drones coming out. He's droning pretty hard and he's getting a roach warren, which would not be the right thing to deal with these void rays. He needs to get out more queens needs to spot inside the Protoss base in order to know what's going on here. You got the Chrono Boost finally being spent on the Void Rays. Uh, he's probably going to get to getting another one to deal with double queens. Uh, gonna start laying the creep down. And when he sees these uh, Void Rays, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna have to pump out these Hydralisks. Um, I don't know if he's actually seen the Hydralis, the, seen the Void Rays. No, he hasn't. He might just be going for Hydralisks uh, as part of his general game plan. Going for Roach Hydra against Protoss. See Protoss throwing down his expansion now, waiting for a second Void Ray before he goes out for an attack. Uh, we have the Zealots and Stalkers out here in the middle of the field trying to clean up these Overlords, prevent the, stop, uh, the spotting from going on. Uh, but this Zergling still sees everything. Uh, supply blocked by uh, from the Zerg player due to the uh, loss of an Overlord. Uh, if Protoss comes up over here, he's going to see a bunch of free Overlords here. This could be really bad for our Zerg player when these uh, Hydras come out, uh, when the Void Rays come out. Void Rays could do some damage. Yeah, are going to clean up those uh, Overlords here and cause the Zerg to become even further supply blocked. And he's going to have to start getting those Hydras soon. Maybe get some Queens out. Uh, he's seen the Void Rays, so he really should respond. Yes, there there are three Hydralisks in production now. Um, but that's still not going to be enough to deal with this. We got also Phoenix coming out. So with Hydralisks in such small numbers, the Phoenix can easily just pick them up and, and, the void rays, and let the Void Rays do all the damage. We have two Queens out here, and the and Queens are being lifted and the Void Rays are going to be able to do the full damage. We're going to be using the Void Rays to clean this place up, but uh, these two Hydras are being ignored by our Protoss player. This could cause some serious losses uh, to his air, air army. He's probably focusing on these Roaches right now. He's going to lose his entire air force here. It's very bad for the Protoss player, but he is able to get up his natural expansion because of this. He's gonna back up here. Maybe uh, Zerg can pick off these two. No, his units are too f slow off of creep. He could use these overlords to just spread the creep all over the place and make it really hard for Protoss to move out without being spotted. More void rays coming out. Zerg is gonna have to back up here. He does not have enough uh, army units here to defend against this. Protoss is, very, uh, is quite well defended against such an attack right now. Uh, we see Zerglings being produced. I think our Zerg player might want to push out very soon. These Hydras are so slow off of creep, it's going to take forever to jo for them to join up with the main army over here. Protoss player uh, getting uh, some extra pylons. Probably going to start getting some more production uh, because he has his natural up and running. Should probably throw down some more gateways or maybe even a robo robotics and start getting some uh, Colossus out because of these mass Roach Hydra army here. He should also get some upgrades because he got his forge so early. A recent tactic for Protoss is just to get mass upgrades on early forge. We have some uh, idle probes here from a Protoss player. Zerg is now taking another expansion down here. Um, is Overlord still clustering up in some uh, awkward positions. He really should move them so that they can provide better spotting or or just to even... And we have a huge battle going on. Protoss might actually lose to this. Uh, due to his wrong t his 
tech pattern is being less than adequate to deal with mix of units. We're probably going to see a GG from our Protoss player very soon as he loses all of his Air Force units. Uh, his money is just piling up, unable to spend it because he wasn't able to build more production units. And Kadar says GG, and the University of Arizona takes the first game.